Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here, well, there's the jump. <laughs> I was like, "Where's the jump at?" What's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to uh, some more small land. So, uh, first episode. Oh man, we were learning a lot of things, but I have learned so many things since then. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in into everything. So prepare yourselves because there's about to be a lot of information dawned upon you. We have got so many cool new things um we actually so if you notice you may or you probably may or may not have noticed i have new tools um your characters progress over two different saves similar to um if you played valheim your your character progresses um and your inventory progresses so um i actually hopped into a multiplayer server tried to get some things figured out and we got some things figured out it's so exciting so that's how we're smashing and that like dicing and slicing these ants so much um we have a flint sword so super exciting stuff but we've got huge things everywhere base building stuff where's to find resources like oh we got so, we got so much good stuff so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the time all the things and uh yeah make sure you stick around because we got like i said we got a lot of things to do a lot of things to cover here so let's go ahead and let's first start off with these trees so i built a base here the base is fine it's a fine base place right it's okay it's it, you know nothing super exciting uh but it is a base place nonetheless so we there you could build base places like this if you want to you go right ahead however there is a much much bigger system in play there's a much more useful system in play when it comes to base building and things like that um we're gonna go check one out right now and this is honestly one of my favorite features of all time from any game it's it's something that i don't know of any other game ever doing now leave a comment down below if you if you have some if you have some examples of of what i'm about to show you but uh yeah it's it's pretty amazing stuff so we're actually gonna go ahead we're gonna head around anytime you see a large tree like this big trees tree encampment that's what you're looking for tree encampment it is an absolute game changer any of these big trees that have the mushrooms like going up them i believe you can they you can turn them into your encampment um and like i said it's it's a, it's a huge deal so we're gonna actually go ahead and run up here now since this is uh, i think since technically this is my first tree on this save i actually have to make it all the way to the top um, we have to we have to run all the way to the top after you run all the way to the top of your first tree You no longer have to do that. And when I say first tree, yes, there's multiple trees And the reason that there's multiple trees is you can have multiple encampments. So like I set up an encampment here I can then go to another tree over there talk to this magical person right here and move my entire base over to a different area so let's say i'm exploring something in this area and i want my base here right do things here but then oh there's a tree encampment over here oh you know what those progress oh my gosh okay hold on a second i want to claim this tree and move my tree encampment here okay so here we go prime example so apparently tree encampments move over too so um Oh, what the heck? Get out of here. So let's go ahead. Get out of here. My tree encampment is currently located somewhere else. I want to claim this tree and move my encampment here. It doesn't cost anything. It's done instantaneously. And then all I have to do is go ahead and talk to this guy. I want to call my hot air lift. A hot air balloon is going to come down here. And it's going to take us up to our tree encampment. And I guess it's a full. our full base is still going to be. I can't even believe that. So build on your encampment <laughs> is what I'm saying. Uh, the uh, just building a base out in the middle of nowhere just serves no purpose. This is a huge, a huge thing. So let's go ahead and let's head to the top. And we get to ride this amazing hot air balloon all the way to the top of this tree. All right. And we're here. And if you notice, look at that. There's a whole base here. So my base will move along with me. So if I ever go to a tree encampment, this whole area moves along with me. And that also means um, you can walk right through doors, apparently. All of our chests are still here. We have all of our stuff still in the chest. Everything moves over. There's tree encampments everywhere. So as you just saw, I had a tree encampment over here. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. There's, they're everywhere. They're all over the place. So that way you can go around. You can explore. You can do what you need to do. You can have your home base nearby. 
it's absolute insanity it's amazing and i love it so now that we have our encampment here we can go ahead and talk about some other things that we figured out um i completely missed the simple bandage right here i don't know how i missed that i thought i looked here like multiple times yep no i missed that a hundred times and then i also missed the crude hatchet which is what i needed next in our um our things um the poisoned mace we did just pick that up so depending on what you pick up depends on what you unlock but today what i really want to do is uh, let's look in the cauldron here so we've got all kinds of different foods but i want a grasshopper treat i want to see if we can get this grasshopper treat now insect egg not 100 percent sure where to get that i know we picked up some from the starting area so maybe we can go back over there maybe there's a couple more over there um and then we also have our tannery which right now all we have is herptile leather because the only thing i've ever killed right now is a gecko so that's a thing and then we also have different potions in here this is our po apothecary table i'm probably saying that wrong but um yeah so we have all kinds of things it's amazing it's absolutely amazing this is so much better and so much cooler than i thought it was gonna be it, it took me by surprise but anyways enough of chit chat i'm gonna go ahead and make some uh more ant meals or more ant head uh skewers because they're absolutely delicious <laughs> and we need those in our bellies and then what i want to do is i want to uh, i really want to try to tame a grasshopper so let's see what time of day is it it's about to be nighttime so we're going to go ahead and just wait until nighttime we'll sleep we'll come back during the day and we're going to go try to tame a grasshopper okay so for insect egg you know what let's actually go ahead and do something here um there is actually a new tool is it in here um let's see flint shears we might need that um flint blades join together to make an effective and durable cutting tool use it to cut spider cocoons open i'm thinking that might be where we get insect eggs but i'm not 100 percent sure um i know well you know what should we just make one we probably should just have one anyways let's go ahead and just get one anyways so we need we got fiber we need resin flint and refined wood so let's see in here we need let's see uh there's a resin oh actually you know what i want to go ahead and get nectar too and then we need this and some wood so let's go ahead and make that so let's go process the seed oil we need how many for these we need five what am i missing flint okay and let's go ahead and get the flint shears okay so we have those now another little uh fun little tidbit that i i did learn and we picked up yesterday along the way is uh, if you go into your workbench and go to repair as long as your stuff has not hit <gasps> darn it as long as your stuff has not hit below half durability it's free to repair and so basically you come in here and spam your repairs on everything and it doesn't cost you anything i can't believe i let my pickaxe get down below half oh so i gotta get that repaired up all right it's been repaired oh i can't even believe i did that huh. i've i thought i was doing so good at keeping my stuff above half but oh, apparently not I, I i slipped just once i let it i let it slip Okay, so we're gonna go see if we can find some insect eggs here. Now, cutting open cocoons doesn't sound like a great idea, but uh, maybe that's what we're gonna have to do. I haven't even seen a cocoon, a cocoon yet. Um, also, I do want to show you where we found bark, where we found uh, flint, and where I found nectar along with some other resources, because those are super useful things that you're going to need to know. And they're not super hard to get a hold of actually let's go ahead and let's start with that so the area that we went to is actually this area right here this beach area so that's why our encampment was over here we walked basically across um a little thing here we worked across this log had an encampment over here walked down this side over here and then there was flint and bark and stuff everywhere so this area right here that's where you're gonna have all your flint and stuff um but let's see if we can't find let's see if we can't find a cocoon Oh, I can't go off that way. I was hoping I could go off that way. You have to walk really slow when you're on that thing. <laughs> uh, 
So let's see what we've got. I've not explored over here yet. But I do know that the starting area is like literally right over here somewhere. Oh, there's a grasshopper. See, I want to get a gra- I want to- we, we, we want to tame a grasshopper. That is like our goal today is to see if we can tame a grasshopper. And uh, oh, there's a canteen right there. Okay, see, this is the starting area. I'm almost positive we found insect eggs in here somewhere, didn't we? Like, they were on a table or something. You know, they might have been on this table right here. Um, I think, you know what, and you know what? I had three. <laughs> I accidentally ate one. <laughs> I know, and I need three, so let me go back. Maybe they weren't on that table. Let's go back in here. I'm just going to re retrace all the steps here. And if not, we're going to have to go find them somewhere else. See that right there? That looks like a thing full of insect eggs. Can I can I just have a couple of them, please? Okay, yep. They must have been they must have been over here somewhere. So that's fine. Let's see if we can go find our own. So I've not been up this way. We're gonna go ahead and go up this way, kinda to um Drustana and see what does Drustana has to offer us. Stupid carpenter ants, get out of here. Ooh, there's a hole. Oh, we gotta go down in the hole. Oh, we gotta go down in here. What the heck? What is this? Some kind of like circuit thing. Okay. I was hoping maybe there'd be cocoons down here. Maybe there'd be insect eggs. <gasps> Wait, what's over here? Oh, this looks like it's coming out a different direction. Different area. Oh yeah, it is. Hold on, let's go back over here and check this other way out. I was really hoping that there'd be, um, like maybe like eggs down here. Oh, hello. You're dead. Uh, let's grab that screw. I completely missed that screw. Let's go this way. Is this just another way out? It seems like another way out. It is another way out. There must be, this must be like an ant hill. Hello. What's up, dude? You're dead. I gotta keep an eye on my uh, durability and stuff. Like I said, half is. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, I feel so. I feel so strong here. <laughs> oh, one of them came out right there before. Okay. Oh yeah, all the death. Oh, there's a camera. Hold on a second. Useful stuff. Heck yeah. Anything else like useful here? Okay, where are we at according? Oh, <laughs> we are completely off the trail here. Um. Okay, we need to kind of go this way. Oh, there's some kind of like ruins over here. And is that a, that's a poppy. Oh, we got some. Oh, really? Get out of here. Uh, we got a, a, a blackberry. Another blackberry in here. Oh, there's blackberries everywhere. Oh. Oh, so many blackberries. This must be, is this a little blackberry bush or something? I don't even know. I'm not complaining. I like it. All right, where are we now? Okay, Drustana. We are on our way. Oh, 
Hello, ladybugs. We still need to try to tame one of you, which that actually brings me to these poppies right here. If we grab an ax so we can harvest these poppies, these actually give us nectar, which we needed for the um, taming these guys. And then these white flowers right here, see these, these tall white flowers? These are actually uh, garlic. And this is where we need the, um, if we want to make the, uh, oh, pixie omelet. We can make a pixie omelet. Interesting. There's a, um, like a, a sleeping shelter thing that we can make. And, uh, yeah, super handy stuff. But you needed the garlic leaf in order to, to do that. Ooh. Got some nasties over there. All right, where are we? Keep getting sidetracked here. There's too many cool things to look at. We got some bees fighting some uh, ants over there. There's a lot of bees over here. There's so much of this crumbled honey. Oh yeah, there's some there's some hives right there. Now this crumbled honey is actually really good for. Uh, oh, we're about to we're about to fight some bees here. Uh, really good for another healing uh, master, like another type of healing. Ooh. I have to go right through here too, don't I? Yeah, I do. Uh, let's try to go this way. I don't want to get a whole swarm of them on me. Otherwise, I will be dead. Actually, do we have a tree nearby that we could... Uh, <laughs> we could call an encampment to, maybe? Oh, that one right there. Man, it's right beyond where we need to be, though. All right, you know what? We're going to run for it. Just gonna run for it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not worth it. I'm not worth it. Okay. I think they whoop, they didn't agree. I don't even know where I'm going from here. Oh, oh right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay. Oh, they're in this bee house? Are you kidding me? What are you doing in here? Oh, you're wearing bee armor. Wait a second. Would that make the would that make them not attack me? Who are you? Uh Drustana, welcome to my beautiful home. Buzz around. Slurp the honey. Uh, you live here with the bees, aren't they dangerous? They are my friends. They help me make things. They help me make this beautiful armor. Could you help them make something for me? Alright, so what do I need here? Bee head chitin and a textile patch okay oh <gasps> do these have wings light suit of armor inspired by bees this cheapest piece has wings which allow the wearer to glide no way insect wings chitin textile patch. okay okay we are officially moving in here uh we, we got honey crumble here textile patch though i'm not sure what that is so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna pop out here and we're gonna go this tree right here we're gonna go ahead and make this our camp oh my gosh there's a lot of bees here we're gonna go ahead and make this our encampment and then we are gonna farm i gotta figure out where the uh encampment thing is we're gonna farm bees i want i want to be able to glide where's the encampment deal Usually, it's fairly lit up, so you can see it from a little bit of a distance, but. I have no idea where it's at. I'm scared that if I don't make this jump, I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're fine. Holy moly. Where is this thing at? Oh, it's right here. Oh, man, it's way on the other side. That's all right. There's a boat and a bridge. <laughs> okay. Hello there. Yes, I'd like to claim this and move. Thank you so much. I'd also like to call the uh, uh, airlift down. Fantastic. 
All right, we're hunting bees today, people. <laughs> we're hunting bees. I don't know what the textile patch is, but I have a feeling it has to do with bees. <laughs> Are a home sweet home. I love this mechanic, and like I said, this is probably one of my favorite mechanics of all time. It is super cool that you can just move your base anywhere you need to. All right, so we need um, bee heads. We need textile. So we don't have textile stuff. Refined hide. It's tough, but pliable material with, with a rough texture. All right, and then we've got ant heads. We've got bones. Actually, I think I needed that for a... Yeah, I needed that for a uh, an achievement there. I'll go ahead and put that back. Leaves, bark, insect fat. Oh, there's insect wings. Um, that was actually something that we needed. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and make a chest. Um, yeah, I want to make a chest and put all of our bee parts in it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's put in, uh, we know we needed, I can't even honestly, <laughs> I know we needed the wings, and then I don't know if there was any bee heads, we also need, uh, we need some kind of textile, textile patch, I'm not sure what that is. Um, oh, we also need the, the chitin as well, we're gonna need quite a bit of chitin. Okay, so we got some chitin. We got a insect, insect sting. So I don't know if that's gonna be something that we need, but I'm gonna go ahead and put them in here. We got chitin, we'll put that in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure what else we needed here. I just kinda wanna clear out my inventory and get ready for the hunt. Oh, you know what? If we're gonna be hunting bees, uh, let's look at this and let's look at poison resistance brew. Poison gland, seed oil, and boiled poisonous mushroom. Ooh, I don't know if I have poisonous mushroom. Boiled poisonous mushroom? I don't know if I have. We have edible mushroom. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything like that. Cause Okay, yeah, we, we darn. That's all right. Let's just get stuff put away. We'll keep the bandages out. And then we're also going to go ahead and we're just repair absolutely everything because it doesn't cost anything to do it. And what is the time of day? Oh, it's about to be dark. Okay. We're going to have to wait till daytime. Oh, I, you know what? Hold on a second. I just realized something else. We can't do this yet because we don't have, I bet you we need the spindle, the loom and spindle. Yeah. We probably need that. Okay. So you know what? Before we even go bee hunting, we need to go figure out where the heck these spiders are. Because I imagine if we can find insect eggs from spider cocoons, maybe we get silk from spider cocoons. I have no idea. Um, or maybe the one or the other. I think we need to go find some spiders. Okay. So since we're all the way over here, let's go ahead. Let's do a little bit of exploration. Um, so the bees... Unfortunately, the bees are on hold because we can't do I have I'm I'm already guessing we need the loom in order to make a textile patch or yeah, I'm gonna you know, it just that's what it sounds like, you know, it sounds like a loom kind of thing. So I think we need to keep our playing with the silk and insect eggs and try to figure out what's going on there. But um, I did see looks like there's a uh, little bit of like a, a, a I don't what I don't know what this, what is this? Maybe a shoreline or something. I kind of want to check that out. I don't know where the spiders are. Scotty. Oh, we, you know what? We, I've never gone to him too. I bet you the spiders are all over here. <laughs> oh, I wish there was a fast travel. I mean, I guess if we ever find uh, insect eggs, maybe we could get a grasshopper. Oh, we got a big bug friend. Are you the spear friend? Yeah, you're the spear guy. Easy enough. Okay. Thank gosh for the stone armor. I, you know, I really like the stone armor. It does help out. It helps out quite a bit, but uh, <laughs> until you start getting ganged up on, then there's, I mean, there's just no saving you. <laughs> oh, look at all these strawberries. So many strawberries over here. Okay, so where are we at? Okay, so there's this like, is it just a rock? Or is there actually a beach over here? What's going on? 
Oh, there's a little bit of a beach. Oh, there's a lot of bees, though. Okay. So I'm heading my, I'm making my way over here. Um, I'm trying to just kind of like scope out the area, see what's over here. We're going to make our way down over here probably. And then this, this is probably the spider guy. I don't know. Scotty, that just sounds like, sounds like, Hey, I'm the spider guy, you know, just screams I'm the spider guy. It's probably not, but it might be, it could be, maybe not. <laughs> Let's go see what's in this, uh, this is a little flower bed or something. Maybe there's some spiders in here and cocoons and something. Really? There's like nothing here. There's like nothing here. Ladybugs. That's so weird. You would think like a structure like this would be teeming with things that want to kill your face. Weird. Ladybugs. Okay. Ooh, that's a big boy down there. Bees, bees. Hmm. Well, there's another tree here. I guess we'll go ahead and go move our encampment here. Be closer. Still no spiders. Still looking. All right, we're moving into Scaldy or Scald, Scotty, Scotty. Uh, we're gonna move into Scotty here, and we're gonna see what Scotty has to tell us. Um, he's over here somewhere. Ah, but where? But where? Aha! Uh -huh. Scotty's down here in this area. Ooh. What is this? Scotty, my man, what are you into down here? He's got a grasshopper in a pit. Ooh, you're wearing some bone armor. Scotty, I am a hunter by trade and former Vanguard servant. Um, I've been sent to investigate reports of trouble with some of the creatures in the area. I should be spending somebody. So can you craft me? Can you make me armor? Have you had any troubles lately? Um, you can say that I was out hunting near the overturned boat and I was when I was attacked by an enraged rhino beetle. It's a dangerous threat that needs to be dealt with before it kills somebody. I'll take care of it. I would advise you to be cautious and well prepared before facing it. Should you be able to defeat it, bring me its horn for examination. This will allow me to understand its origins. Will do. Um, but what about this? What about this? Oh my gosh. Insect fur, bones, and heptile hide. Primal cowl. Primal tunic. Okay, so we got primal. And then we have a chitin. Cold protection protections three. Cold protections nine. Protections three. Blunt resistance plus three minus two percent movement speed. Blunt or edge resistance plus three movement speed minus three. Interesting, because I compare that. I mean, to uh, protection one, piercing resistance, which is which is handy. I guess depending on what type of thing you were fighting, depending on what kind of damage they did, um, that'd be cool. So, I mean, there's some neat things here. Insect for chitin. I know where the chitin's at. Like that's, um, I don't. That's not super hard to find. The hept, hept herptile leather. That's kind of an interesting one. And then insect fur. I guess the insect fur might be. Uh, oh, I don't even know what insect insect fur might be. What? Um, oh. Um, unlocked primal craft at Scotty. Okay. Interesting. So I was completely and utterly wrong about this because I was thinking there was gonna be spiders over here. Uh, and guess what? There's none of her over here. <laughs> There's no spiders. So. <gasps> oh, that place. There's the rhino beetle. That place looks like it might be spider central. There's no tree over there, though, is a problem. So our closest tree is actually this one here. All right, let's pop up to the tree. Let's get our encampment going. Man, we got to get... Uh... It's probably about to be dark, huh? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, we got to get to that tree like ASAP then. All right, we've called this tree home many times. So I know where the... Um... I know where the entrance deal is on this one. Huh? <laughs> need spiders, though. All right, my friend. I need my base here. Thank you. And can you call the hot air balloon guy for me, please? Nope, that's the wrong button. Hot air lift, yes. 
So it looks like maybe that area is going to be our spider area. You know, so originally, the map is still pretty big. Um, there's a lot of area we haven't explored. It's not quite as... It's not quite as big as I was originally expecting when I looked at the map, but without with, with all the unexplored area, you know? Um, it's not quite as big. Because, like, I was thinking it was going to be, like... For some reason, I was feeling like, you know, Valheim kind of big. Like, some of those some of those maps are huge. Uh, and to getting around from place to place is just, like, it's, it's crazy. Um, this map's big. But it's not huge. It's not, like, massive. Alrighty. Well, you know what? I think, unfortunately, I think that's where we're going to end it for today. I feel like we got a whole lot of nothing done. Um, we know where we can get bee armor. We know where we can get like bone armor, hunter armor stuff. We now have a rhino beetle we need to take out. And we explored, oh my gosh. I mean, we actually did explore. We explored all of this area, all of this area, down over here, down around here. So, I mean, we did explore quite a bit. Um, but I think next episode, we got to figure out where the spiders are. I think they might, maybe they're over here in this, this weird area. So uh, hopefully we can find some spiders. We can get some, uh, some silk. We got to get the loom. We got to get a whole bunch of things going, but that is going to end it. Thanks so much for coming out. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did like, subscribe, all the fun things. This is small land. Uh, again, I'll have a link down below. Also, I believe it's on Epic Games. If you do end up going, going through Epic Games on anything, use code Z1 Gaming at check out. It does shoot a little bit my way, so I do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.